Hi, this is a presentation of CCNA 1, Chapter 9, Part 1, about subnetting and how to subnet an IP version 4 network. Subnetting means that we take an existing network and divide it into smaller parts or create uh, subnetworks or just subnets. The whole idea of doing that is because if a network gets too big, there will be too many broadcasts and it will actually influence um, the efficiency of the network. So we want to create smaller networks uh, because of um, the broadcast traffic. Because a broadcast will be sent to all the devices on a network. And with a large network it will be so many devices to receive the broadcast. So to make it more efficient we create smaller network with fewer devices to to get the broadcast if we send a broadcast out. So we would like to um, to reduce the overall broadcast traffic and to improve the network performance. That is why we create a subnet. To be able to communicate between the subnets, we need to put in a router between the two or three or how many subnets we, we have. So the only communication between two different subnets will be taken care of by the router. So, for instance, if we have a large school network, uh, we could create four or three, in this case, uh, subnetworks. So we would have a student LAN, a faculty LAN, and a admin LAN, for instance. So how do we do that? Well, we have to look at the binary again, because when we create subnets, we actually borrow bits from the host portion of the IP address to the network portions. So we create more networks with fewer hosts. So for instance here, I want to create two subnets. And to be able to create two subnets, I borrow one bit. Um, so we take the first bit here in the host portion of the IP address. Here we have eight bits for the host portion. We borrow the first one of them here and make that now a network bit or a subnet bit. So now we have only left seven bits for the host portion. And by borrowing one bit, well, this bit can either be a zero or a one that will create two different subnets. So here, how we find out how many subnets we have, well, we take two in the power of the number of bits borrowed. So here, two in the power of one, give me two subnets. If I borrow two bits, well, then I have two in the power of two, which is four subnets. If I borrow three bits, well, then I have two in the power of three, which is eight subnets. If I borrow four bits, well, then I have two in the power of four, which is 16 subnets. So the number of borrowed bits will tell us how many subnets can we create. We can also see that the subnet mask, if I borrow one bit, will now be slash 25 instead of slash 24, like we had earlier on. Because now I have 25 bits for the network portion of the IP address, because I've borrowed one bit. And to find out which two new networks that we get, well then we just set here the first subnet bit to zero, so and calculate the entire address here. So th this will still be 192.168.1.0 because this is still zero, but with a slash 25. Um, and the broadcast on the first subnet, well then we keep this address here. This is set to zero and then we put in seven ones because now we have only seven bits left for the for the host portion of the IP address. So the uh, broadcast will be 192.168.1.127. The first host is 1 and the last usable host is 126. So the first subnet will be called 192.168.1.0.25. The second subnet, well then we set the borrowed bit, the one we borrowed here, to 1. So that the network address will then be 192.168.1.128. The, uh, the, the broadcast will be 192.168.1.255. Again, 
we set all the host bits here to, to 1 and keep the subnet bit here to 1 as well. So now we have created two subnets. The, before we submitted, we have a network called 192.168.0/24. We borrow one bit and create two new subnets, which will be called 192.168.1.0/25 and 192.168.1.128/25. So we have two new subnets. So we borrowed this first bit when we did that and we had seven bits left for the host. That gives us in each of these two new subnets we have room for 128 um, addresses but still we have to remember to, to subtract with two because the first address is always used by the network and the last is used by the broadcast. So we have 128 minus 2 because it's 2 in the power of 7 which is 128 and minus 2 gives us 126 valid host addresses. So by borrowing one bit uh, we get two smaller network. Before we, we submitted we had 254 addresses available. Now we divide them in two and we get 126 on each of the two networks. We can also try to uh, create more subnets. So if we borrow two bits, well then we have four subnets available. Here we borrow the bits here, the two of them from the host portion are now instead of being uh, host uh, bits are now being network bits. So we can see out of these two bits that we borrow they can have four different combinations. So it's 00, 01, 10 and 11. And the new subnet mask. Well here we, since we have borrowed these two bits they are now networking bits. So the new subnet mask will be slash 26 or 255, 255, 255, 192, because altogether this last byte here is 192. The first subnet will then be 192.168.10 slash 26. The next one will be 64, because if we put this into a subnet or a binary calculator, this number here is 64. This one here is 128. And this one here is 192. So now we got four new networks with these four new addresses. Yeah, and we can also do the same thing by borrowing three bits and then creating eight new subnets. Then again, here we keep we lock the three first bits that we borrow, and here we can see we can have eight different combinations. The first one is all three of them set to zero and then zero zero one, zero one zero, um, zero one one and so on. So then we, this is wrong. Yes, this is wrong. It should be zero one one here. One one, one one, one one and so on. But we just make the combination of the, the, um, the three bits that we have borrowed. So it's 100, 101, 110 and 111. And then by just calculating what is this giving me in a binary, well this is 128, this is 160, this part here, this part here is 192, this is 224 and so on. So in this way we can just calculate what will be the networking address uh, of these eight new networks? And of course, also by setting the host portion to, to once, we will just also find the broadcast address. We don't really need to calculate the broadcast address because when we have the next coming network address, because this is called 128, and when we calculate the next one here, it's 160. Well, then I know that the broadcast on the network before that will be one lower. So this is 159 is the broadcast uh, address of the network before, for instance, the fourth and the fifth, if you look at them. 
So what we can do is that we can allocate um, these eight different subnets to uh, different interfaces on our router because they are now um, single or individual network addresses. So what we can do is we can find out how many networks do we need and give them to each of our subnetworks, for instance. It's important, of course, that each network here, when we have a network over here with a slash 27, well, this is the subnet mask uh, available for all the devices. So when we plan how many subnets we need, there are two different ways of looking at it. We can uh, consider how many subnets do we need or how many host addresses is required. Are we going to look at to 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 see that okay I could I would like to have three different subnets. Well that is one way of looking at it. The other way is looking at how many hosts do I have and how many hosts do I want on each network. So to to, to find out how many number of usable hosts I have, it's two in the power of n, where n is the numbering of the host bits. How many host bits have I left? when I do a subnetting. And minus two because always take out the first and the last address. The first for networking and the last for broadcasts. So here for instance if I have one, two, three, four, five, six different networks here and um, I would like to have one subnet for each and every one of these six different networks then I know I have to borrow eight, uh, or sorry, borrow three bits so that I get eight different subnets. Because I cannot borrow something that will give me six. So either I can borrow two bits and it will give me, um, it will give me four subnets, or I can borrow three bits, which will give me eight different subnets. So here I would uh, borrow uh, three bits and have eight networks and then I have two left for further expansion for instance. Yeah. So, Or you can have a look at here and see okay I have 40 hosts, 20 hosts, 20 hosts, 20 and 15. Then I can go in and look at the host bit uh, or the host portion of the network's address. See how many bits do I need to have 40 hosts. Um, and how many do I need to have 20 hosts and so on. So I can just look at the way that I subnet and try to create a subnet uh, that will meet the required hosts uh, as close as possible. That is another way of doing it. But of course, um, if I decide to have uh, 40 more hosts on in the engineering network, well then I need to, to redo my subnetting. Yeah, so here um, again, what we will do is again, here we have a slash 22 network. So now the first 22 network, uh, 22 bits are the host portion. Um, if I want to create 16 new networks, well, then here I borrow four bits. And again, I'm doing it the same way. I just switch between the 16 combinations of the four bits to calculate what my new networking addresses will be. Yeah, and that's it. That is the first part.